In this video, we will look at how to build a simple solar circuit. Let's get started. A simple electrical circuit is a basic DC circuit. Let's first see what happens in this circuit with a light bulb, a switch, and a battery. The battery is the voltage source. It tries to push a current of electrons through the circuit to light the bulb, but the switch is open, or off, so no current flows. If we throw the switch and close the circuit, the current flows and the bulb lights up. This is sort of like what happens with a water system. Say we had a tank of water with a pipe coming out the bottom. There's a faucet on the pipe that acts like a switch. The pressure, or weight of the water, tries to push it through the pipe, and when we open the faucet, the current of water flows out through the pipe and sprays out on a water wheel which causes it to turn. This water pressure is like voltage or electrical pressure. The current of water is like the current of electrons, and the water wheel is like the light bulb. It uses the energy of the current. We could use a solar cell as a voltage source instead of a battery. In this circuit, the solar cell is connected to a small motor that has a fan attached. The motor is the load, the wires conduct the current, and the solar cell provides the voltage that pushes the electrons through the circuit. Notice that the wires are color-coded to show their electrical charge. Red wires are positive, black wires are negative. Let's think about our water system again. What if we need more energy to make the wheel spin faster? We could double the height of the tank. This would double the weight of the water and increase the pressure pushing the current through the pipe. This increased pressure could spin the wheel faster. We could do a similar thing with the battery system. We could connect two batteries together end to end. If we connect the positive end of one battery to the negative end of the other, the voltage produced by the batteries is added together. This extra electrical pressure would make the light bulb burn brighter. This type of wiring is called series wiring because the batteries are connected in a series one after another. Here's how this circuit would look with solar cells as the voltage source. By connecting the red wire from one cell to the black wire of the next, the voltage of the two cells is added together. Cells are connected in a series one after the other, like a string. We just learned how to use series wiring to increase the voltage, or pressure, pushing electricity through a circuit. Sometimes, however, we need to increase the current, the actual number of electrons moving through the wires, and keep the voltage the same. To do this, we use parallel wiring. In parallel wiring, we connect the positive ends of both batteries together, and we connect the negative ends of both batteries together. Now, instead of the electricity flowing in a series from one battery to the next, there are two sets of wires from each battery connecting it to the load. In parallel wiring, the currents produced by the batteries are added together, but the voltage remains the same. Here's how this looks when we use solar cells instead of batteries. The red or positive wires are connected together on one wire leading to the load, the small motor in the fan, then the black or negative wires are connected to the other lead to the motor. By connecting the positive wires together and the negative wires together, we've created a parallel circuit and the currents produced by the solar cells are added together. The voltage in the circuit is only as much as one cell can produce. Now this can be a bit confusing, and poor old Pa here is having a hard time keeping it straight. So please help us save Pa! Now, save Pa is actually a handy little memory aid. SAV stands for series adds volts, because in a series circuit, the voltage is added together while the current remains the same. PAA stands for Parallel Adds Amps because in a parallel circuit the amps or current is added together while the voltage remains the same. This concludes our electrical short on simple solar circuits brought to you by Solar Schoolhouse. If you'd like to learn more, please visit our website at www.solarschoolhouse.org.
Yeah.